And we are underway as the first pitch, a strike from Madison Kerpix. Over to third base, and there's Sarah Mosley, who makes a tough throw to first base. And Mosley, another All-American as well, and the error to start the ball game. It's a good start for Kerpix. An even better swing for Brooke Kuffel off of that pitch, and that's going to score a run. And so her heart's hot start to the season continues for Kuffel. Badgers up 1-0. And a two-out walk to a dribbler over Bojan, and Emily Bojan is retired throughout her career. And Kearney going chasing, and Manyanimo loves it. She sits down, one of the big hitters in this lineup. Have a time to shine, and Manyanimo with back-to-back -back strikeouts. Great start. Oh, it was rocking for sure. Is that one a rocking base hit for Fiona Gerardo? And Gerardo with a stand up double to lead it off here in the second. Goes to the dugout, a pinch runner in for her, trying to lay down the sacrifices. Peyton Bannon and does so successfully. So Eden Echeverria is over at third base. With Cusack at the plate, swings through it, strikes out. And Kerpix records her first of the day. Always talking to those pitchers. Woo, right back at you, up the middle. And Olivia Bark produces one number two for the Wisconsin Badgers. They jump out. Great back up the middle to extend their lead. Two for five today already with runners in scoring position. And The big W at the end as the Badgers know they are outmatched. They said all weekend long, but they're trying to come up with the W over top five opponent. This pitch up in the zone, and Ellie Hubbard goes after it. You know I love a good rise ball swing, and that is a perfect example of one. She doesn't try to chop it down into the ground, but she takes her barrel straight to the bottom half of that ball. The All-American bounces it up the middle past the diving second baseman and the leadoff single for Sydney Kuma for Georgia. The ball in the strike and hits it sharply over to second base. The flip over from Cusack. The double play is turned. We talked about the great defense carrying over from the opening weekend. Along with Michelle Smith and Jessica Mendoza, they'll be here all weekend. And Manyanimo right now is feeling it in the circle. He's in learning to expect to expect the unexpected. <laughs> Tough hop for Skylar Sir Dashney and kind of took an unexpected hop there for her. And Ellie Armstead ends up at second base. He's the leadoff hitter for this Georgia Bulldog team and just laces this one over the center fielder's head. Peyton Bannon wasn't necessarily sure how fast and hard that was coming. And George is on the board. And the delivery by the time that clock hits zero. And Jada Kearney lays that one into the left center gap. And rounding third and coming home is Sarah Mosley cutting the lead in half. Here come the dogs. <laughs> Caught looking. This time it's the second strikeout for Lindy Ray Davis. And now with the full count. Sends this one flying, no scoreboard in center field, but that's okay, there's some trees there to try to collect. That's a home run for Sydney Kuma. We're right on cue for Sydney Kuma. A complete control at bat by Sydney Kuma. We just heard Coach Baldwin talking about them needing to stay disciplined in the zone, even with two strikes. The strike zone still exists. This is a pitch pretty much right down the heart of the plate, and Sydney Kuma gets all of it. A 3-2 count, goes after it, drives it out to center field. Those are the types of swings. Behind Tennessee. That one. 
and on a rope to left field. Experience matters. Off-speed offering, giving chase, and Gordon strikes out. It's swinging a more, away more, but pull the string there. Improve her defense year after year. And back to work again. Gets that one for out number two. He would provide a huge boost to this Badger Ball Club, but Lily Backus is gonna give her squad a chance from the Bulldogs. This one into right field and the side it drops in front of the right fielder and this has got extra bases all the way to third and Armistead leading it off. The triple, the tying run at What an effort by Echeverria all the way out in right field. Waited on that one, third baseline, ties up the ball game. The pitch gets away and a walk. Now a nail biter here with Wisconsin, Georgia, and making the right play in time to third base to get the lead runner out from Manyanimo. High fly ball into left, and Manyanimo comes in and saves the day. And Shelby Walters retires. Brooke Kuffel. The plate has added a rise for this season. I think we saw a bit of that already. She was sharp last weekend as that one got away from Gordon. And so Nevin now 60 feet closer. The sacrifice, that ball tightens. And the Badgers put up a run. Ahead of that one to be as Florida State fans ready for the next game on this field. And the sack bunt laid down by Sarah Gordon, only four of her career. Make it five. Push across a run. Tried to show that squeeze as well. Hits the runner. And Chambly ties it up. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Fly ball into the outfield. The center fielder, Bannon, is there. Kenzie Rudity up the plate. Paige Miller trying to lay down the sack bunt, is able to do so, and advancing the runner over. Trying to look for my pitch when I'm up at the plate. That one gets through past the glove of the shortstop, Armistead, and Gerardo drives in the run. So Wisconsin grabs the lead back. He was bouncing on the ground. I was taking a hack. Swinging for that one like that. And Linkletter is thrown out by Gordon behind the plate. Great contact there. And it goes over the center fielder's head. And moving around with the stand-up double is Peyton Bannon. Gets the strikeout. Dallas, good night, moves from second to third. And even to Mosley, and Mosley punches it through. And rolls into the infield, the RBI for Sarah Mosley. And we're knotted back at six again. And handcuffed inside, a nice play made by the second baseman. And two down. Lindy Ray Davis, first pitch swinging. Manyanamo, quick throw to first base. Barton gets it past a diving second base.
baseman Sidney Kuma. And so now, runners at the corners. And the strikeout recorded by Walters. A big one there, the first out of the inning. A four bomb weekend and taking a really generous lead. And now the rundown with Cusack. She's going back and forth and finally tagged out. Second out of the inning. And going out chasing that one, the strikeout. Shelby Walters is pumped up about it because. This that bad in extra innings. Instead, laying down the sacrifice, advancing with the pinch runner, Hannah Davila, over the third base. Here today. Doesn't matter now. She's aboard the intentional walk. And also puts a ton of pressure on the freshman who's coming up to the plate right now, and Emily Digby. 2-2 <laughs> offering and gets Digby to commit. Huge strike out there for Tessa Manyanamo. In her first game of the season, with the Bulldogs, walks it off! Well, how about that to start off your 2024 campaign? Dallas delivers one heck of an effort put up by Tessa Manyanamo and the Wisconsin Badgers, but it's the Georgia Bulldogs who prevail in extras.